All right, guys. It's uh, <clears throat> rather nice looking outside today. Uh, very little cloud in the sky, although there's more starting to appear now. Uh, as I came down into the town, it was much, much uh, clearer. So, uh, but it's, it's not that, it's not exactly super warm yet. I mean, we're about nine and a half degrees outside. So, uh, not impressively warm, but looks very warm. So, uh, had quite a busy week with work for a change. So things are picking up there. Um, <coughs> We've got uh, I saw another YouTuber on God, what day was it? I can't remember what day it was. Uh, it was very fleeting. It was a quick hello, goodbye, more or less, really, and good to meet you sort of thing. Uh, and it was strange, really. I, I don't know. It, I suppose. The thing is, you don't really know each other. So, you know, there is a bit of trepidation there, of course. Uh, but it was it was Jane Jones, who uh, I know she has family in the area and comes to the area. And she, be ha she happened to be doing a periscope uh, not far from where I work. Uh, so I thought, Right, I'm off to shoot down there. Now, you know, I was at work at the time, and then uh, it was a case of it was nearly the end of the day, like, and I thought, right, I'm going to pack up and go down there and catch her off guard. Now, she'd actually started to walk away uh, from where she was, but uh, I knew which road she'd be on, basically. Uh, so I sort of flashed my lights, pulled up, and, you know, it was just a quick hello, goodbye sort of thing. I think it took her by surprise, really. Um, she probably thinks I'm a bit of a stalker now or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Uh, so, that was quite interesting. Uh, it was for me. I don't have a lot goes on in my life, you know. Uh, what else? Um, <coughs> I won something from Mquan's channel. Um, I'll leave all links to these people's channels below. Um, I won a, a one terabit uh, my passport, one that's like pre-formatted for Mac. Uh, so that is that is going to come in really, really, really handy. I've got that uh, actually mounted to my Mac now, uh, and I always change like the uh, the drive icons on them. Uh, so that I can tell which is which more easily. So it looks like I've got like four drives mounted to my Mac, uh, and I just keep them on one of the desktop uh, images. Like uh, one is obviously the OS, the SSD uh, on board, and I've got three other drives. So I now have two one terabit Western Digitals, uh, which have slightly different icons for each. Uh, because obviously I use them for different things, you see. And I've got a, a half terabit that I use for um, my time machine. And they're all linked, they're actually all running through one USB cable. Uh, so, no, that's, uh, I mean, that's really great. And it's, uh, so, Mquan, if you watch this, it's highly, highly appreciated. And thank you very much, buddy. Uh, and I know he's just gone back to the UAE now, uh, but I think he went on his own without uh, his wife and his son, so he'll be a bit bored. But I know he, you know he's got work to go back to and what have you. So you know, uh, what else? Let's have a look. Uh, I said to the wife, I said, uh, "What was it? They, they, they've done bingos and all bloody sorts. They went." I went to a meat bingo, I can't remember when that was now. You know, where you just win pieces of meat and what have you. Uh, they just didn't win anything. And then they went off to like the normal sort of bingo for money. You know, you say the usual, don't come back if you don't win anything. And 
My dreams were dashed there as well. She didn't win anything. <laughs> or if she did, she's kept it to herself. Um, still got decorating going on. Uh, I've got the new sofa turning up next Friday. So that's all going to be great fun. So we've got the other ones to get rid of before then. And what else? Uh, I've got a new TV turning up today, which I purchased from Amazon last night. Did a bit of, been doing it. We've been sort of like researching on and off what we want. You know, we wanted, the main thing we wanted, this one's going to go in the bedroom, the one in the bedroom's going to go into the living room. Uh, and that's purely because the, it's the wife that watches TV more than I do. And she tends to watch late at night. So I wanted a smart TV that definitely 100% had Bluetooth. Have you ever actually tried looking for TVs with Bluetooth? Um, it's actually not that easy. Uh, because you've got to keep going to spec pages for them and stuff like that and checking down because it, it's not a... It seems that it's not really a major selling point. So, and uh, not all of them have it. You would have thought that they would, but not all of them do. Some of them you have to add it on with a dongle, um, which I didn't want. Because uh, I only want something that will shut off the sound, uh, sort of remotely. The trouble is, as soon as you go shoving anything into like the jacks or anything like that, it shuts the sound out. We don't want that. Uh, because we want the wife to be able to just turn on the Bluetooth headphones, connect to the TV, and that will uh, shut the sound out so I can sleep and she can watch telly. That's, you know, that was the main reason for desperately wanting one that had Bluetooth. So, yeah, we've got this, uh, i got a Sony, uh, I can't remember the model number now, but it's a Sony that's coming. It's just a standard HD, um, I don't think it's, I mean, yes, it's noticeable, but to us it's not absolutely necessary to have 4K. Uh, I think this one's 3D compatible as well, like. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really interested in a, a 4K viewing perspective. I mean, I have always said, like, if I buy any more cameras now, it will be 4K ready. Uh, because, you know, it is going to be a thing. I think, and there are people want more and more people are wanting to watch in 4K. Uh, I'm not that particularly bothered, so I've just got a standard 1080 HD, which obviously saves money. But that's turning up sometimes a day. Could even be already here, but uh, I doubt it because I've got that on my Prime delivery. I always make uh, who's that? Uh, Sorry about that, I just got, <laughs> yeah, I looked a bit gormless there. I uh, just got a notification through, that was all from Twitter. So, yeah, anyway, I've got my bits, uh, and I'm gonna go in and, mind you, it's quite early today, it's, uh, yeah, I normally do this after 12, and it's uh, before 12, so, yeah, I'm uh, ahead of time, and I've got videos to do anyway, so, that's quite handy, really. So, anyway. <laughs> the old TV there. <laughs> uh, we did uh, originally um, I had a big steel bracket that I'd made up for there myself uh, and some big bits of angle iron <coughs> uh, and because what it was it was easier to, and cheaper to make one myself for our original TV that we had in there which um, was a plasma screen and it was when uh, these plasma screens started becoming all the rage, we went out and bought one, it cost an absolute fortune. I mean, it was one of the earliest ones that came out, I think it cost me the best part of 3000 with all the soundbar equipment and everything with it sort of thing. Um, obviously, that died. I mean, God, it's, it's been dead a few years now. 
Um, and then my son moved in for a bit and he brought his TV. And then we just ended up with that one there. Uh, so, like I said, we've got a 42 inch LG in the bedroom. Uh, that'll be coming into here. And then this new one still hasn't arrived. But I noticed on the tracking info I checked, uh, it was checked in last night at uh, just gone 8 pm at uh, Fife in Scotland. So I've got a feeling it's not going to turn up today. In which case, when I leave the feedback on Amazon, it'll be a case of why do I pay for Prime delivery and don't get uh, Prime delivery. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's. Sometimes you just know. I mean, I've had it happen before where it doesn't turn up, it turns up the day after. So, but anyway, it's coming. I mean, it's no big rush for me. It's just niggling that, uh, you know, you pay for Prime and didn't get it. So anyway, tea's on. Uh, meat's been in about an hour now. So, all going to plan. The veg has just gone on. Uh, got my batter mix ready for the uh, good old Yorkshire puddings. Uh, and I have to feed the dogs soon as well. So, it's all good fun. So, um, I hope you guys have had a good weekend. I say had because it's just about over now, isn't it? It's uh, quarter past four on a Sunday. And I've still got a Catherine Wheel burn mark in the post. <laughs> just noticed that. So, grass is getting ready for a cut now. Uh, I was going to do it today, but with you know, with the friend of ours in and out with uh, the paints and what have you to the shed and what have you. It's, uh, I didn't want it to conflict and, you know, obviously got the doors open for the smell of the paint and I didn't want to get, have like dust blowing in off the mower and what have you. So I'll probably do it one evening during the week. Although I actually prefer to do it on evenings during the week, to be honest, because it actually gives me a better workout because I'll go faster because I want to get it done on the evening. I mean, the front and side lawns still don't really warrant a cut, uh, but they'll, they'll get one, but they don't really warrant it yet. But the back one there, uh, because the back one seems to get more water. So, because around the front, you see, we've got all them trees, and of course, trees drink a lot of water, so. Oh, looks like my gas has just gone off. I'll catch up in a minute. <laughs> cooking with gas now. <laughs> so yeah, we're back on. Everything's running hunky-dory again. Kettle's about to click in a moment. You'll hear me click. <laughs> so everything's ready. Um, so yeah, I'm just sort of standing around waiting for a bit of cooking to happen now. Uh, so I'll be getting the beef out in a minute and uh, Yorkshire pudding oil in, get that nice and hot. Then mashed potatoes and carbony beef while the Yorkshires are doing. So everything's doing great. So I just need to get some time, get some stuff done in the garden now. Uh, I think if things just take a slight quiet off at work, I think I might uh, come and uh, take a week off, get a load of stuff done. But um, I know we've got a load of deliveries to do because we've got a, we're going to have some van loads going into South Yorkshire again before long, uh, and West Yorkshire as well. I'm not sure who's doing it. There'll be a run over to Halifax, actually, not far from Mr. Cooper's workplace, because we've got to go and drop some stuff off there. So, oh, what is she whimpering out? What's up, Pepper? What is up with you? Hey, what's all the whimpering for? Come here. Come here. Oh, there. Tell them. Tell them on there why you're whining. Tell them. Tell them into the camera why are you whining. There, you see. Camera won't steal your soul, you know. There you go. There's the other one at it. So, still no TV. So, like I say, I'm not expecting it to turn up now. I mean, it's quarter to five, so... 
You're a bad one, you. you? Go on, and beard yourself. Anyway, guys, I'm going to disappear and I'll come back again after my tea. Sounds of spring, eh? It's a strange one though, for that. I hear it. Usually as the weather starts to get warmer every year. Yeah, it's a strange one that. Dunno. Anyway, I'm about to wrap up for the evening, get this vlog finished. Most of the footage is done now. Uh, do it while I was having my tea. And uh, it's about the only time I get a bit of peace and quiet and don't have to run around after people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Sparrows are living in the house again. I think I filmed them last year actually with my camcorder. If I, uh, if I get some nice weather next weekend, I'll uh, get some footage going. All it is is a hole up there. Oh, that went in a bit higher up this time. Yeah, all it is is a gap between two bricks and things. Like, I think there must have been um, one of the overflow pipes hung out there or something like that. It's been sort of like semi-blocked up on the inside. I think the uh, the uh, sparrows nest in the gap that's left. So it's getting a bit chilly now, mind. But anyway, guys, I will call it a day here. Uh, so do make sure you have a good working week and uh, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you all next weekend. Cheers, guys. See you.